Hey gang, um, I wanted to talk about role models and mentors today. Um, why you should have them and what the difference is. Everyone should have a role model. Um, from school age and on, uh, we should have somebody that we admire that does something that we would like to do well. Makes sense, right? Um, for instance, uh, when I joined classes for Muay Thai, the instructor recommended that I find a role model uh, that I like, someone I could look up to, someone I could learn stuff from. So I went on YouTube and I found a role model. Um, it happens to be a male fighter from Virginia and I really did find him randomly uh, because I, he has a very similar tattoo from mine which I thought was unusual and pretty cool. Um, so I watched a bunch of his fights on YouTube and I learned some interesting things about his style and what I want my style to be. Now of course if I were working towards being a fighter I would want a mentor and role models. Um, the difference being a mentor is someone that you interact with, someone that gives you feedback, someone that pushes you in the right direction, that encourages you, keeps you on task. Um, Chick-fil-A mint, sorry guys. Uh, as a role model can be someone that you just admire from afar and follow, like uh, not at all a Kardashian, not at all, like Martha Stewart, okay? Um, as a businesswoman, she's amazing. She's been to jail and she still has a craft empire, okay? <laughs> Think about that. Um, now, would I want her to be someone I model my personal life after? No. And that, I think, is the, the teensy, teensy bit where people kind of get caught up or let down, um, especially if they pick someone famous to be a role model. And then like that famous person gets caught doing drugs or drinking and driving or something stupid that famous people do. Ah, <sighs> people. Uh, a role model and a mentor are someone that you're looking at for a specific purpose. They're really good at their career. They're very good with a specific skill, whether it's a sport or a hobby that you're, you're looking to learn or learn to do better. Um, that's great, but that has absolutely nothing to do with their personal lives. For instance, if you were looking to be a really good medium or psychic, I, I'm really good at that. Um, I'm not very good at domestic stuff. So if you were trying to model your life after my life, that is not recommended. Not at all. <laughs> but if you wanted feedback from me, uh, I mean, I've done, I've mentored a few people before and it was, it was cool. It was nice to see people grow. You know, it doesn't just go one way. We learned from you too. Um, but you know, someone that I had, what, well, how did you describe it? I had admired them. I didn't really think of them as a role model, but, uh, they had come to me for just a fun reading. We were doing a fundraiser at Lilydale and I, I knew who she was and she probably didn't even know who I was because you know, big names up there and whatnot. And she had asked me a question uh, about love. You know, everyone, everyone loves love. And um, the cards that had come up for her were not about love, but about money. And she, I don't want to say got mad, but certainly got frustrated. And I got frustrated because I was like, you're a professional. This is not how professionals act towards other professionals, especially people that are just starting out. That's, that's not the reaction you're supposed to have to this, you know? As, especially when we go for readings, you don't always get what you want, you get what you need. That's how that works. And her reaction completely turned me off to her personally. And uh, that was, it's, it's an unexpected side effect. You know, you could find a sports role model, you know, pick a football player, pick a basketball player. And they're really, really good at that. But, you know, come to find out they're, you know, got charged with domestic abuse or got caught in a DUI and, you know, just disappointing life choices, okay? Uh, yeah. Hmm. So if you choose a role model, please be aware that you are choosing them for, for personal growth for you 
not that you're stalking them intent on having their life, okay? Because no one's life is perfect and no one's life is what it seems from the outside. You and I both know that that's true, okay? Uh, as for mentors, everyone should have a mentor at some point. Absolutely, fantastic. Yes, mentors are great. Um, if you have a specific career goal or a specific personal goal that you're trying to reach, it's always great to have another cheerleader, to have someone that can direct you, that's been through that before, that has gone through that learning process and can help you make new mistakes instead of their mistakes. Um, so yeah, absolutely, everyone should have a few role models and one mentor when you need them. How do you know when you need a mentor? Uh, you just do no it's not it's not like love uh, if you are know that you have a specific goal seek out a mentor you know part of the learning process of having a goal whether it's starting a business or looking to be better at whatever whether it's sports or crafts or whatever you know you're gonna be doing research on that topic anyway you're gonna stumble across a few people that are really really good at it you know great reach out to those people and even if they say you know I don't have time to mentor you they might give you the name of somebody that might help you know or they might give you a really great resource that you hadn't found yet and that's psh, that's fantastic you know um, our, our path is a series of steps you know you might you might get to take a shortcut with a little bit of help that's awesome so absolutely especially people that are going through the college process but don't know if they want to be what they think they want to be you know talk to people talk to people uh, this is this is your time to figure stuff out I mean, even for people that are out of college and are like I think I might want to go back to school for this ask that's that's the key rule in all of life ask if you do not ask, you will never have an answer. Whether that answer is yes or no, doesn't matter. Because you don't have an answer unless you ask. So, role models, fantastic. Pick a few, you know, from different, different things that you like. Pick a science role model. Pick a physical fitness role model. Pick a career role model. Pick a favorite hobby role model. Very cool, you know? Keeps, it keeps you on your toes, keeps you learning, keeps you growing. And if you know that you have a specific goal, try and find a mentor or ask other people. Hey, I'm considering looking for a mentor. Have you ever done that? Again, ask, start a conversation. Super cool. All right, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm off to get my butt kicked. Woohoo, yay, happy Tuesday. <sighs> May peace be with you today because heaven knows then I need some. Bye guys, be good.